Hello everyone. Now in this video, I will be discussing about the depression, the definition of depression, the causes and the symptoms and the antidepressants, the classification of the drugs and the mechanism of action. So let's continue. So starting with the depression, what is depression? So the definition of depression, it is a mental health disorder which is characterized by persistently depressed mood loss of interest in activities and causing significant impairment in daily life it is a feeling of sadness so what are the causes of depression if there is a family history or illness and health issues medications or drugs or alcohol can cause depression alcohol itself it is a depressant it affects the brain's natural level of happiness the chemicals like serotonin and dopamine drinking a lot can harm brain and lead to depression the symptoms include uh, low mood feeling of worthlessness feeling of emptiness or hopelessness and sleep disturbance it causes insomnia and sleeping too much hypersomnia so let's discuss about the hypothesis of depression there are three hypotheses the first one which is amine hypothesis of mood and decrease in brain derived neurotrophic factor and abnormalities in hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis and thyroid function and sex steroid levels so now let's discuss the drugs used for depression the goal is to increase the level of monoamines such as such as serotonin, noradrenaline and dopamine. The antidepressants are divided into three classes, reuptake inhibitors, receptor inhibitors and enzyme inhibitors. Starting with the reuptake inhibitors, we have reuptake inhibitors are divided into four classes again. The first one which is tricyclic antidepressants and the second one which is selective serotonin reuptake antidepressants and the third one which is serotonin noradrenaline reuptake antidepressants and the fourth one which is noradrenaline dopamine reuptake antidepressants so starting with the tricyclic antidepressants we can remember this drugs with the mnemonic antidepsy so a stands for amid trifetaline n stands for not trifetaline tri Trimipramine, imipramine, desipramine, and E is nothing, and P stands for pro trifetaline and clomopramine. So, let's discuss the mechanism of action of the tricyclic antidepressants. Amitrifetaline and imipramine are long acting metabolites. So, let's see the mechanism of action. This tricyclic antidepressants block the norepinephrine reuptake and the side effects include adrenergic overstimulation. They block the serotonin reuptake and they cause the serotonin syndrome. This serotonin syndrome occurs when tricyclic antidepressants are used along with the selective reuptake inhibitors okay and the three unwanted actions of the tricyclic antidepressants are they block the alpha 1 recept alpha 1 adrenergic blockade which causes the postural hypotension and h1 blockade which causes the sedation and confusion and the muscarinic blockade which causes the atropin like side effects to the selective serotonin reuptake antidepressants we can remember the drugs with the mnemonic fcps f stands for fluoxetine c stands for citalprom and p stands for paroxetine s stands for cetaline the mechanism of action is in the name itself we can understand that they selectively block the reuptake of serotonin and there is no blockade of alpha 1 receptors h1 receptors and muscarinic receptors and they cause insomnia and impotence so next going on to the serotonin nor adrenaline reuptake antidepressants we can Remember with the mnemonic BD, V stands for venalafaxine and D stands for dulozectine. So the mechanism of action is they will inhibit both serotonin and noradrenaline reuptake 
and no side effects. So coming to the last one which is not adrenaline and dopamine reuptake antidepressants we have one drug that is bupropion. So the mechanism of action is they inhibit the noradrenaline and dopamine reuptake. Moving on to the second group of drugs of the antidepressants we have receptor inhibitors and we have three drugs that is trazodone, mynserine, mitrazopam. So the trazodone mechanism of action is it blocks serotonin receptors and it has adrenergic receptor blockade activity. So moving on to the second drug which is mynserine, its activity is to increase the noradrenaline release by inhibiting the alpha 2 receptors. So the third drug which is mitrazopam, it blocks the alpha 2 receptors and alpha 2 receptors and blocks the H1 receptors on the serotonin neurons. So moving on to the third third group of drugs of the antidepressants we have enzyme inhibitors which are divided into the selective and non-selective coming to the selective this act on MAO enzyme and we have moclo moclobamide and coming to the non-selective they act both on MAO and MAOB the, the drug is phenatazepamine MAO is responsible for the norepinephrine and serotonin metabolism whereas MAOB is responsible for the dopamine metabolism. So here the important point to be remembered is we have a cheese reaction. So normally when we take foods such as cheese and fermented food what happens is tyramine which is present in the food it is metabolized by the MAO present in the gut and liver. The tyramine in food is metabolized by MAO in the gut and liver. So what happens is in cases where the patient is taking antidepressants such as MAO inhibitors and simultaneously taking food that are rich on tyramine what happens is they block the MAO enzyme. So tyramine will be in the large amounts enters the general circulation and releases the large amounts of catecholamines which causes the fatal hypertensive crisis and cerebrovascular accident. So this is the classification of the antidepressant. So let us review on the classification of the drugs. So here we can see the drug classification antidepressants. It is divided into the reuptake inhibitors, receptor inhibitors, enzyme inhibitors. Reuptake inhibitors divided into the tricy tricyclic antidepressants. We have amitrifetaline, nortrifetaline, trimipramine, imipramine, desipramine, protrifetaline and clomopramine. So coming to the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, we have fluxotine, citalprom, paroxotine, sertaline. So coming to the selective noradrenaline coming to the selective noradrenaline reuptake antidepressants, we have venaf venalfaxin and dulozectine. So coming to the noradrenaline dopamine reuptake antidepressants, we have bupropionine. So coming to the second group of drugs that is receptor inhibitors, we have three drugs, trazodone, mynserine, mitrazopine. Coming to the enzyme inhibitors, we have selective and non-selective. Selective, we have moclopamide and phenatazepamine. 